but I'll tell you one thing though. <laughs> no, that was mine. Wait, to you. all of you guys, thank you so much for being part of the fandom. Thank you so much for being present and being a person. We love you. You're amazing. You're unique. You're awesome. Here's the Babs Connie. Here's to you. <laughs>
and I've tried applying for monetization several times. They're not even taking the application process seriously on the monetization. They said it would take about a week. In my case, it takes the very next day to get you know, immediately declined. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the whole shared content or the foul language involved in it. And uh, just, I haven't been doing them in quite some time. And I don't know if or when I'm going to start back up again. As of right now, it is hard to distinguish when or if I'm going to be launching anymore or getting some more done. Uh, it's just been a long draining process of just a fight between trying to get monetized and you know the recent impact of loss influence loss of influence recently that happened where a lot of even my own personal projects aside from smg4 sound effects have gotten delayed and pushed back and a lot of things uh i think a couple months ago before i left to california i stated that i was going to also step down from youtube because you know things just weren't working out the way they should and i i stopped you know working on my own productions and a lot of things in between. And I think a lot of those productions in between also had to deal with the over 5 million views on the whole entire SMG4 playlist. And there's no telling if or when I'm going to be starting back up again, because you know, I've, I've, I've been doing it for almost 10 years now. I was doing these when I was in high school nearly 10 years ago. And it's just been a long draining process because in order to make the sound effects, you gotta find the original file you got to copy the link to the original file so the viewers can see it. You got to put an image on it. You got to produce it through some video editing software in hopes that, you know, your video editing software isn't being such a bitch and producing it or giving like false errors like, oh, they cannot produce this video or, or the audio ends up going missing or the video ends up going missing or the photo ends up going missing. It's, it's a long draining process. And usually I do it through mobile because it's quicker and faster, but at the same time, I've recently been doing it through PC because I really don't have that much, you know, space to work with or storage space to work with. So yeah, it's been a really long draining process. And if it impacts some people, I'm sorry, but it's just, I've been doing them for almost 10 years now. In the past few years, I've just, I've given up on doing them and I never know why I've ever given up on doing them. I'm not sure if anybody else has noticed this, but I've also noticed over the past few years that YouTube has been taking down a lot of videos. Um, a lot of these sound files that come from SMG4 no longer have a available link to click on because it says this video is unavailable or taken down or the channel has been taken down for so many strikes or violations. So that's another thing that has also been coming to a lot of people is where's the link at you know what's the original sound file and usually most of the time they click on the link that's in the description if it has one and most of the time it either shows up as unlisted channel terminated or video is no longer available and i can't do anything about that i'm not in control of those channels that you know have their videos taken down their audio taken down their videos being unlisted like for instance the battletoad gamestop one I noticed that it was public at one point, but for whatever reason, the content creator of that video had made it unlisted. I'm gonna take this Battletoads and shove it so far up your fucking ass, buddy. Battletoads. The high difficulty and nostalgia of the game made it a cult phenomenon. What made it into a meme is not entirely known. It is still playable, but it is unlisted compared to how it was public at one point. And I think they said that they were having issues with the, the copyright system or the monetization system or something. So the Battletoads GameStop sound effect, the one where he talks about, I'm going to take this Battletoad and shove it so far up your fucking ass, buddy, is unmonetized. Well, sorry, not unmonetized, unlisted. But it is still playable through the, um, the official platform. But it's just no longer public anymore and uh that's another thing that a lot of content creators nowadays have been dealing with is that and also another thing that i've been noticing is the fake copyright centers and the reason i say that is basically somebody i think i'm not too sure how it works but i think somebody pays a huge amount of money to a fake copyright video or a fake copyright company and that copyright company 
has no authority, by the way, and they slam somebody with a copyright strike or a violation, even though they're not an officially licensed copyright company. So some scumbag out there is making a fake copyright station and slamming people with it. And YouTube has been cracking hard down on those people. I can't remember what the guy's name was. I think his name was like Smash Bandicoot or something. He had gotten his channel taken down because he was using that fake copyright center as an advantage and trying to take down other content creators. And it's absolutely freaking abhorrent. Now, what does that have to do with sound effects is a lot of those videos that basically had those files up at one point or another have either, either been taken down, unlisted, or the entire channel was deleted, which there's not really much I can do if the original sound file goes missing. 